Challenger climb today, it carried an American woman astronaut, Sally Ride, into space and into history. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you forgot happened in the 1980s. And I don't think there was a better uh, demonstration of how that training worked. For this list, we're looking at the major events of the 1980s that deserve to be re-examined due to their historical importance. What events do you most associate with the 1980s? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Borg versus McEnroe. Even if you didn't know a thing about tennis, it was hard not to get swept up in the rivalry between Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe. Much of the drama came from the contrast between the relaxed Borg and the hot-headed McEnroe. Although they started competing against one another in 1978, the drama really heated up in 1980. Borg defeated McEnroe at Wimbledon, but McEnroe bested Borg at the U.S. Open. And the following year, McEnroe was triumphant at both competitions. However, Borg was the winner in their final showdown at the 1983 Suntory Cup. The two have reportedly formed a friendlier bond since retiring. And Borg and McEnroe still stand as two of the best players tennis has ever known. Number 9. Baby Jessica Falls Down the Well can you imagine making international headlines but having no memory of the events in question? That's what happened to Jessica McClure, better known as Baby Jessica. All America is watching and waiting tonight, watching the little town of Midland, Texas, and waiting for rescuers to free little Jessica McClure. When McClure was 18 months old, she fell down a 22 feet deep and 8 inch wide well at her aunt's Midland, Texas home. Soon, the world was cheering for Baby Jessica and her rescue. After 56 hours, the courageous efforts of rescue workers brought her to safety. Very happy ending to the ordeal of Jessica McClure, finally pulled from that well in Texas. McClure, who has no direct memory of the experience, needed a fair bit of medical attention after her rescue. But today, she is, by all accounts, happy and healthy. And her story stands as an example of people working together for the greater good. It was a story that the whole country could really get behind. Number 8. Pope John Paul II Assassination Attempt Pope John Paul II is one of the most influential religious leaders of the last century. But his life was nearly cut short in 1981 when he was shot and injured in St. Peter's Square by Mehmet Ali Aja. Aja, a Turkish assassin, had escaped prison in 1979 after killing a Turkish journalist. Askew stopped filming to receive the blessing, and a moment later, the shots rang out. The Pope survived, and Aja was sentenced to life in prison. However, the story doesn't end there. The Pope forgave Aja and implored people to pray for him. The Pope's influence also led to Aja's pardoning in 2000. And in 2014, Aja placed white roses at Pope John Paul II's grave. That act of forgiveness brought him back to the Vatican to pay his respects at the Pope Saint's tomb. Number 7. The Miracle on Ice When the United States and Soviet Union hockey teams faced off at the 1980 Winter Olympics, few expected the American team to emerge victorious. The Soviets had dominated past games, and all signs pointed towards another victory. However, the underdog U.S. team, coached by Herb Brooks, played with strength and heart and stunned everyone to win 4-3. Announcer Al Michaels' proclamation at the end of the game captures how we were all feeling. The U.S. team went on to defeat Finland to take home the gold medal. This was a moment that was bigger than just winning a game. Number 6. The IBM Personal Computer there was a time when the idea of having a personal computer sounded like something straight out of science fiction. That was until IBM introduced their first PC. IBM made its personal computer to help a person be more productive. Although other PCs had come before it, this was the one that really revolutionized the idea of home computing. Many were skeptical, including one IBM executive who asked, why would anyone want to take a computer home with them? But an impressive design and a memorable Charlie Chaplin-inspired ad campaign made this machine a must-buy even for the non-computer geeks. With this tool for modern times, a person can quickly master such jobs as accounting or word processing. In 1983, Time magazine dubbed the IBM PC as Machine of the Year. While far more advanced computing devices have arrived in the years since the IBM PC, they might not exist without it. The IBM Personal Computer. Try one on at a store near you. Number 5. The Ozone Layer Hole While the sun provides us with warmth and life, it can also be dangerous. 
Specifically, we're talking about ultraviolet radiation, which the ozone layer protects us from. Each spring over Antarctica, a hole in the ozone develops, and it has been getting larger year by year. However, chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, found in many common items like air conditioners and hairspray, were found to be causing extensive damage to the ozone layer. The Earth's natural sun shield, the ozone layer, was being eaten by CFCs at a terrifying rate. To ensure its and our survival, countries signed the 1987 Montreal Protocol, which banned production of CFCs for good. Today, the ozone layer continues to protect us from UV radiation. By identifying a problem and acting swiftly towards a solution, these scientists and world leaders were able to give us a safer planet. More than 30 countries agreed to phase out the production of CFCs and signed the Montreal Protocol. Number 4. Sally Ride in Space Amazing feats in space exploration did not stop with the moon landing. In 1983, Astronaut Sally Ride made history by becoming the first American woman to go to space, as well as the third woman in space. She was grinning with excitement even before she left the Earth, even before the crowds here chanted, Ride, Sally, Ride. Not only that, but the 32-year-old Ride was also the youngest of any American astronaut to go to space and also the first LGBTQ plus recognized person in space. Ride took part in two flights on the Space Station Challenger before leaving NASA in 1987. Although Ride sadly passed away in 2012, her legacy as a trailblazer for women in space lives on. The thing that I'll remember most about that flight is that uh, it was fun, and in fact, I'm sure it's the most fun I'll ever have in my life. Number 3. The CDC Recognizes AIDS In 1981, a mysterious new illness was infecting hundreds of people. And the following year, it was being labeled, quote, an epidemic. AIDS appears to be a virus transmitted through blood, semen, saliva, and other body secretions. On September 24, 1981, the CDC first referred to Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. This became the defining public health crisis of the 1980s. At the Center for Disease Control, they have two strategies for trying to figure the syndrome out. And today, more than 36 million lives have been lost to HIV and AIDS. Increased awareness and research funding has brought new hope to those who have been or may be diagnosed with these conditions. The CDC's recognition was just one part of the fight against AIDS, but it was undeniably a crucial one. And if uh, the trends continue as they are, I think we can predict that the acquired immune deficiency syndrome is a, is a highly fatal illness. Number two, President Reagan assassination attempt. Less than three months into his first term and President Ronald Reagan narrowly escaped assassination. Outside the Hilton Hotel in Washington, D.C., Hinckley caught up with his target. Upon departing the Washington Hilton Hotel, the president and members of his cabinet and staff were shot at. The culprit, 25-year-old John Hinckley Jr., had developed an obsession with the movie Taxi Driver and its young star Jodie Foster. Although the president suffered serious trauma from the shooting, he survived and left the hospital 12 days later. Ronald Reagan's life literally on this day hung in the balance of a split second and a mere inch. In a controversial verdict, Hinckley was found not guilty by reason of insanity. In 2016, he was released from his psychiatric hospital to live with his mother, and five years later, a judge granted him unconditional release to start in 2022. Hinckley continues to regret the suffering he caused others. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The MASH finale. This send-off broke ratings records. <laughs> CNN premieres. The cable news giant launched at the start of the decade. Good evening, I'm David Walker. And I'm Lois Hart. Now here's the news. Do they know it's Christmas? Band Aid's charity single spread global awareness. Do they know it's Christmas time Madonna in the wedding dress. The pop star's performance at the first MTV VMAs was unforgettable. New Coke. Coca-Cola tried to reinvent itself to a mixed reaction. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Challenger Disaster On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger launched for the tenth time. 73 seconds later, it exploded, claiming the lives of the seven people on board. And liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. This event shocked the world and led to a major investigation into what caused the disaster. The Rogers Commission, formed by President Reagan in response, found both bureaucratic and technical issues to blame. It was also learned that warnings about the safety of the launch had been deliberately ignored. The engineers at Morton Thiokol knew that there, were, there was a serious risk, uh, but they were told to, you know, take their engineering hats off and put their management hats on. Among the people on board was Krista McAuliffe, who was set to be the first teacher to ever go to space. In 2004, McAuliffe and the rest of the Challenger crew received the Congressional Space Medal of Honor posthumously. They served all of us. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.